Hey, everybody. Hey, welcome we're back. here. We're doing things. We're here. We're, well, sort of. I mean, I don't yeah. know. Where the fuck am I right now? <laughs> I exist. Oh, uh, fuck, dude. It's been a long week. Yep. I mean, and it's only going to be worse this weekend. Yeah, no. We're, Fourth we're, of July coming up. We're heading into, you know, America's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, America. Yeah. Fuck you. Um, so, you know, <laughs> grilling out and barbecuing. Yeah. Which I guess would be the same thing, but whatever. Everybody grill out, have parties, watch the, the fact, fireworks. We're fucking down a cashier. <laughs> we're just going to bitch about work for a few minutes here, guys. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we're the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. I'm going to, like I said, we're going to bitch about work a bit. Cause I mean, they're just they're just dicking us so hard. <laughs> like it's it's such a terrible, terrible, terrible everything. Like yeah, this any any holidays time the time before holidays is always difficult. And then to top that off, uh, we're short on help and everything. Where we know we're going to be short on help going into it. So it's just going to be exhausting, and it's the weekend, and it's the first of the month. God, why do we fucking work retail? Because they hired us. Yeah. And we're too stupid to quit. Yeah. And we don't have alternate jobs lined up. <laughs> Should have gone to school. And this doesn't pay us. Yeah. In fact, we're still losing money on this. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I don't know what to fucking do. Yeah, just deal with it. It's fucking life. I, you know, I seriously have, and I, I, I may or may not have talked about this before, but there have been legitimate thoughts I've had of, like, creating a Chatterbait account and streaming games to it that are banned from Twitch. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I don't know why, but I've had that thought, and I feel like it could go somewhere. <laughs> All the porn games people want to see but don't want to pay for. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, what... The first game that comes to mind is the Nico Para game, which is banned on Twitch. For oh my god, reason. that I was going to bring up this week. That's coming to Switch. Is, is, here's the is it going to be unedited? Though? No, it's rated teen. Oh what? Okay, so I, I correct me if I'm wrong. I know that game is listed as an adventure game. I, I don't um, know anything and about a visual. It. it is a visual. I don't, novel. I don't know anything about it. I just know it's one of the games that, for whatever reason, is banned on Twitch. Well, I mean, it's a it's a porn game. You. Uh, I know from reading the description here and the re description on Steam is that the whole story is this guy moves out of his family's home and the cat girls, which apparently are like pets in this world, but a little bit more because they're still intelligent, uh, follow him around. Hey, man, I can get that game for four bucks right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I know if you look in the comments, they tell you how to get the uh, uncentered patch for the Steam copy, right, which you might not even need now because Steam apparently opened the floodgates. I mean, there's a lot of games that are that are like a suggested in addition to this, and it's all big titty anime. Girls. Exactly. So like, I feel like I, it's I feel all like, waifu simulators. Yeah, I feel like there is an audience on Chatterbait for that kind of thing. I'm sure there is. You know, but I just don't get why it's coming to Switch. I mean, I mean dude, there's no, there's no, ch unless there's choices, I know there's no, I don't think there's really like any puzzles. I don't think it's not a dating sim game where you have to like, I mean, I maneuver around getting one or the other. Cause I'm I, not going to lie. I played dating sims and VNs back when I was in high school. I mean, I, I admittedly um, have no Newgrounds, idea what's two flash game. games. I, I don't know anything about it. It's just, it's, Beyond you the read girls. and click next and that's it. As far as I know, from what I've read, that's that's all you do. Now, one thing I'm going to bring up, because you brought this up coming yeah. to Switch, is the fact that they released that Galgun game. Yeah, which you, I played, and it's boring as fuck. I mean, you really... I think you really have to be an anime wife who's... An, yeah. and, and I don't even get the girls. point. See, okay. You're shooting them with your hormone gun and making yeah. them happy. No, it's it, that ex, that aspect of it's kind of funny, but at the same time, it it gets difficult, and because of the shitty controls, mm -hmm. it gets more annoying. Um, I also don't get the point of that game unless on Steam, it's a lot more it, on PC. It's a lot more graphic because they have better ratings on there. I mean, I know it's M rated on the Switch. Is it? Yeah, okay. I don't. Well, I don't maybe there's that, content. That I mean, that I just doesn't seen. I've that only doesn't played it for about an hour and a half. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's uncensored. No, no, no. no. But it, it it is at least M rated there. Yeah. I mean, I, one thing I've learned when it comes to video games is you can be as gory as you like, but the moment you show a titty, there's a problem. 
Oh, yeah. Which is... Uh, that's which, an American thing, though. It is, and it, it, it confuses the shit out of me. Yeah, we're such a sexually repressed... repressed uh, because we're a good, nation. We're a good because Christian we're a good nation. Christian nation. Yeah, we're a good Christian nation. Just shoot them all. Um, Only say fuck one time. You're good to go. Yeah, exactly. You shoot everybody. Well, in the they face. have to be faceless, yeah, or they can't they, be, or it has to be off screen. Yeah, or it has to be off screen. So it either has to be like it can be humanoid as long as it doesn't have a face. Yeah, and if you're it's not, not showing human, any you red can show blood. blood. Yeah, yeah, it's not red. Um, but yeah, Galgun. I bought expecting it to be. And on the rails, like, shooter the way... Um, like Raccoon, House of the Dead would be or something House, like that. Yeah, yeah. or uh, there was a Wii game, a uh, Resident Evil game, that Jake's going to kick oh, my ass because he just told me the name of it Survivor? the other day. No, it Survivor was, like was kind of Raccoon like a, City Underground or... Uh, uh, okay, the fact that, I, like that I absolutely adore the Resident Evil games and I don't know what the fuck you're talking about speaks to how shitty the game was. No, be. it wasn't... It, okay, some people thought it was shitty. I liked the game. Yeah. Um, I know no, I said Resident that, Evil fans I actually said it. that just to trigger Jake. Oh, okay. Well, he doesn't like it either. Oh. The reason being is, it's like I said, it's an on-the-rails, House of the Dead-style shooter. Which, I mean, those, those kind of games are fine. I like those arcade yeah, games. Yeah, no, the, 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 the... It had motion controls, so you aimed the Wiimote at the screen and shot the zombies and shit, which is exactly what I wanted out of the Wii. Right. It's exactly what I want out of uh, at least a couple games for out of the Switch. So I was like, oh... This is a, a game where all you do is stand in one spot and shoot at fucking shoot hormones at girls and make them like orgasm and then they go away. I was like, surely this will have motion control and it'll be cool. Right. No. The only motion control is you can move the controller or move the Joy Cons, the, the... Uh, but it's not actually aiming them and it's terrible. It's basically unusable. I see that, 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 and then sucks, the man. normal aiming controls with the joysticks—that's still also bad. I, I mean, because I'm with you. I, you know, you drop like a ten or fifteen dollar arcade shooter yeah. on the Switch. I'm buying it. Oh yeah, in a hey, It's I mean, why I'm. I am definitely getting. Uh, now that I've upgraded my uh, GPU, yeah. I'm getting uh, either probably a Vive in this year at some point. I don't know if I want to wait for the upgraded version to price come down, see if they're going to announce a new one. I don't know, but I'm see, definitely I want that style of game. I my, love those arcade shooters. If my, I could, I'd have House of the Dead in like uh, the whole arcade machine in my house, and I'd probably put 500 hours on it. Easy. My my issue with those kinds of things, aside from just the incredible price, because seven eight hundred dollars for. Yeah. Um, is setting everything up. I don't think I'd have the room. No, you, you, I'd come in one day to do the podcast and this room would just be set up for VR and be like, oh, so, uh, we'll have to hold the mics and sit in the living or something like that. No, I mean, if that what were, happened to the, what, what if happened that were an room? instance, I, I would just, uh, I would just set up my, my Yeti and the laptop out there. Or something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, that would be like we do with the, uh, with the fucking when we run the Pathfinder campaign, I just set my exactly. I just put my my Yeti in the middle with its capture all directions on, and we just sit here and chill. Yeah, oh yeah. I I mean, honestly, it might be interesting if we ever did start doing videos of us playing games or streams or something. If we did move the table out of here, set up a vibe, and record us looking really fucking stupid, like. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, dude, that that would be pretty amazing. I'd have to figure out how to put two video streams in, like, my video editor yeah. at once like that, but that that would be pretty fun. Yeah. And sit there, have, like, on the left side, have what we're doing in real life, and on the right side, have the game. Yeah. Like, Beat Saber, you know, to see us doing, <laughs> uh, yeah, just bouncing around and, yeah. and fighting shit. That would, be, that would be awful in every sense of the word. Yeah, but yeah. But it would be fun. I mean, that's almost why I bought... Uh, I kind of wanted the PlayStation, uh, not the PS3 motion control shit. I don't remember mm. what it was called there. Uh, the Once. motion eye thing and all yeah. that. The, the, um, they had, I can't remember either because they were fucking irrelevant. They had a fucking awesome looking gun, like, peripheral. Yeah, the gun attachment. That's yeah. kind of why I wanted Link's crossbow training because yes. it, it just had that stupid plastic 3D printed thing but you yeah. put your shit in it it was a, it was a, like a it was a it crossbow, was a crossbow. i i it's one of the reasons i really like the wii i liked those games yeah no the um, wii was fantastic and man. i haven't they, they just don't they don't sell very often this anymore fucking reminds me i still got your wii out there that i need to take apart and clean out and fix <laughs> and get that disc stuck out of it yeah and see about potentially replacing its wi-fi module i don't know if it's possible but it you know it needs to connect to the internet. Uh, I wonder if I could go online and buy one of the dongles 
that lets you plug in an yeah. Ethernet cable because I know they existed for it. I mean, probably. I mean, f- I think the story we'll work at, we had one in clearance. This is a couple years ago now, but it was in clearance for like years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was one of those things. Like, we've had things at, at, at that store um, that were in clearance for so long, we just threw them away. Yeah. Um, my favorite thing, guys, because uh, we work, we work, we've mentioned it before, we work at a Walmart. We, <laughs> and I used to work in our electronics department. And there was one day we had like graphics cards and shit. Um, they were like PCI NVIDIA 6200 GTs. Yep. If they weren't PCI, not AGP back then, AGP uh, stands for Accelerated Graphics Port. It was the standard for video cards before PCI Express took over. Yeah. Um, these were PCI cards. Now, the problem with that is PCI is dick slow. Yeah. Um, like to go from PCI to AGP in terms of, say, cars – would be like going from a Prius to a Mustang. Yeah. Now, Mustang is not the best example, but it's a very fast car, and that's what matters. Yeah. Now, to go from AGP to PCI Express is like going from a Mustang to a Lamborghini. Mm-hmm. So, there, you know, you kind of have your comparisons there for speed. So, you're going, you know, PCI might be... More like a Formula One. No, more no. Uh, for PCI. Not PCI Express, oh, PCI. but PCI to AGP might be going from a two-pedal bike to literally any car. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about that? How about that comparison? Um, we still had those sitting on the shelf. We still had those sitting on the shelf for fifty bucks. Yeah. Um, the issue with that was they weren't worth the cardboard they were in. Yeah. Because they were pretty much useless. Now, if you had a ten-year-old Windows night and ten-year-old, so we're talking. 2011, 2012. Mm-hmm. So if you had a PC that was 10 years old at that time that was still running Windows 98 and still had some sort of integrated, pardon me, graphics, and your only upgrade path was a PCI card, this would be worth <laughs> five bucks to you, but not 50. Yeah. And I kept telling them, you're never going to sell those. You're not going to get rid of these. Here's what you need to do. Mark them down and throw them away. Yeah, put them in the car. Seriously, compactor. guys, these are 10, 12 year old graphics cards. We're not going to get rid of them. <laughs> and I don't even, I, I can't even be, I can't even be sure if their model number was four digits or not. I just know that they were old and useless. 256 megabytes of DDR RAM yeah. and PCI slot. It's like they're useless. They don't have, they don't even have DVI. It was <laughs> like, what more do you want? They had super video outputs. <laughs> like, they, they were useless. So, I mean, and we kept those things. And they were on that shelf for a good two or three years. Two after or three that. years until uh, I, I actually think um, until our last store manager came in mm. and finally took my advice and threw them the fuck away. <laughs> so, we had those things for about five or six years before we finally just threw them away. Yeah. Because. Dude, we seriously mark them down, take the loss, get rid of them because we are never going to sell them. Yeah, just just they're not out. worth the shitty cardboard they're in. Mm-hmm. They're not worth their packaging. Get rid of them. <laughs> so yeah, I love that. okay. So we had a plan. Um, Did you we? said something about there's a rumor that Google could be potentially starting their own. Yeah, we're creating their own gaming system, which is strange, but I'm not going to say impossible either. Uh, because they sort of they sort of dipped their toes into that uh, with the Nexus Player and the Nexus Q and stuff like that. Um, especially the Nexus Player, because it had the Asus gamepad, which was actually... It's actually a nice gamepad. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I have it out there. I use it every now and then. It's, it's a nice gamepad. It really is. Yeah, so... Looking at the article a bit more, so it's apparently been something that's kind of been known is that Google has had this interest in gaming for a while now, Um, and apparently at the Game Developers Conference in March this year, Google representatives met with a few different video game companies, the developers and uh, producers, um, to see about interest in a streaming service a streaming platform right but apparently they have something even with a code name called yeti 
So no idea if that is a, you know, like a service, like maybe they want to come um, do something to uh, be competition with Steam or with NVIDIA's streaming service, or if this is like an Ouya box, but from Google, so maybe good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if it's an Ouya box from Google, I, I definitely have more faith in it than the original Ouya box. Oh, God, that was hilarious. I mean, I think... Kickstarter bullshit. I mean... You know, we got to give it the credit of it was a Kickstarter project that didn't fail, at least. Like, they delivered. No, no, there is no technically. They delivered a product. Yeah. It might not have been a good product. It might not have lived up to the product's hype, but they delivered a product. Yeah. It wasn't like one of those Kickstarter pages where you get $580,000 of a $50,000 goal and then nothing happens. Yeah, you never get a game or a product. It vanishes into the ether or. They just they fail to meet a get a hardware partner and they yeah. have to refund all the money or something like that. Like also, granted, I give them more credit than like that Wi-Fi juicer. Wi-Fi juicer. Oh, you didn't. Oh my God, you got to no, look no, up. I, like I, 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 I'm afraid that does not. Uh, does gonna, I, I, I Dubs did a video on it. Uh, Critical did a video on it. Like, there's a lot of people who've done videos. They legitimately came out with a juicer that connects to. Wi-Fi. Okay, I got I got the uh, I got the Verge article pulled yeah, up. Yeah, it on is it. expensive as fuck, and the thing is six hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, the thing is also you have to use their proprietary packets. There's DRM on the packets, so you can only use their juice packets. It's already been juiced. It just squeezes the packet for six hundred dollars and connects to your phone. Sorry, no, not six hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars, and that's all it does is squeeze a packet. There's no fucking purpose to it. There's no. It's like I guess they have some kind of fucking like nutritional tracking shit, but you can do that with like a thousand different apps that most of which are probably free. This is the dumbest. This is possibly the dumbest product. Next to the laundry balls that connect to Wi-Fi, I think in existence. I mean, honestly. It doesn't actually juice anything. If I wanted to truly set this up, like set something like this up, here's how I'd do it. I'd buy an analog juicer and a Wi-Fi power box like a Wi-Fi yeah. power outlet, and just set the analog juicer to always be on, drop the shit in it, and just say, hey, Google, juice my juice, and then boom. Yeah, but like, that's the thing is it's not actually juicing anything. It just squeezes the fucking packet. It's already juice. It's juicing something. It's juicing people's wallets who buy oh, this shit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. And God. I think if I remember right, I, I, I could be completely wrong and just wanted it to be worse than it is. I think you had to pay monthly for a service too. I might be wrong on that, but you no, know, I know you had to order the packets from them. Juice cereal, so they would juice have to mail them to you. Cost between four dollars and ten dollars, so it's not like you're saving money on your juice habit here. No, you're also locked into buying Juicero's packets and only Juicero's packets because no one else sells these things, and it's theoretically not possible to make your own. That means you'd better like the juice varieties Juice Fair was offering because you can't create a juice plan exactly to your liking, as you might be able to with literally any other juicer. <laughs> yes. It is just the most what the fuck. And I get it. It's I think it's trying to hit that futuristic, um, like Star Trek, like uh, all that the future that we see it in movies right. where you like put the powder in the machine and right. hit a button and boom you have food or boom you have something to I mean drink. I gotta tell you what man if somebody figures out pattern replicators from Star Trek have yeah. all of the money I will ever make for the rest of my life just give me one I know that there are 3D printers that do food that they're mm -hmm. trying to make I mean that's one thing that NASA was talking about using yeah. to help end hunger is 3D printed pizza Yep. And it's like, it's so, so simple shit like that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But Eventually, like, at McDonald's, you're going to get 3D printed burgers. 100%. It's going to happen in a few years. You but, know what? It won't be any worse than current McDonald's standards. No. You know what? It'll probably be better. It probably I, will be. I fully It'll, it'll be more nutritional, and I doubt uh, it'll be Computer ordering, um, too. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Like, <laughs> a computer is less prone to fuck your order up. Yep. It really, really is. Like also just being able to customize my food without having to tell somebody I don't want tomatoes. Yeah, so much better. That's why fuck you Taco Bell for making your app shitty and none of the stores around here using it. 
Same to you, Little Caesars. I mean, I had no problem with the store down where I used to live. Yeah, well, the new app, they uh, updated oh, it they updated a couple... A new app? About three months ago, they changed the entirety okay, of the yeah, app, no, and you, ever since then... You can stop right there, because yeah. I haven't used it in three years. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah it's been a little while. But yeah, because I love I love that. Put in my fucking order, I got a send it in, drive up, have give my ever, name, get my food. Have you ever used a Wingstop app? No. Uh, yes. Is it uh, good? Well, I haven't, I've used both the app and the website. Yeah, it works. That's all I need to know, then. I might start... Yeah. That one oh, works. Dude, fucking hop on the bus, order Wingstop, get up there. I'm yep. here to pick up my order. Thank yep, you. theirs works great. Um, hey, noodles Wingstop. There noodles you go, Express, they're they're great. Or noodle, 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 noodles, noodles and Company. Yeah, Noodles and Company. Noodles and Company. Oh, that place is so good. Uh, they're great. They used to give out coupons all the time. They don't anymore, which pisses me off. But I can't save 40 cents good. on my noodles. Yeah. No, it was like fucking, uh, you'd get a free uh, sided. Well, yeah, good. yeah, free drink, free. Well, they sign, got whatever. they got to a point where they've got everybody trapped in the ecosystem, and they're coming back yeah. and all that. That's exactly. all they, need. That's all they hey, want. I haven't been going back because I need. Remember, give me some free shit. <laughs> give me some free fucking mashed potatoes. I'm so lazy, I don't want to get out of my car. Yeah, no, I completely get that, man. <laughs> if every pl- you know what is stupid as fuck though, um, uh, fuck, what's the name of the restaurant? Panera Bread. Yeah, they have an app that yeah. you can order, pick up from. Um, they also have a drive-through. Right. You're not supposed to go through their drive thru if you order with the app. That makes no sense. At fun. least a few at least wait, two wait. or three months ago this was the case. I pulled up through the drive thru. I said I uh, placed an uh, 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 an, an app, app order. order. An in app order or an online order. I can't remember. It, Whatever. it was the app. Yeah. I told them, you know, my name. And then I, they sat there like they were completely fucking confused. And then I pulled up the window and sat there some more. And then they finally came up and, oh, yeah, we had your food over by the counter. Uh, he come in to pick up the food. I was like, why? I ordered it on the app, and this is a drive through Wouldn't it make sense to just drive through and pick up my food? And she kind of looked at me and was like, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's our that's our education system at work right there, folks. No, that's corporate think. Well, exactly. Yeah, what do you okay, think created yeah. the corporate think? The terrible education system. No, I I, I do separate and with those Betsy because DeVos, of... it's going to get even worse. <laughs> that's not good political today. It's not about political. That. She's just a fucking idiot. She's crazy. I I don't, I'm not even. She's when she's... I mentioned her, I wasn't thinking of politics. I was thinking of how stupid she is. <laughs> Like, I don't care what side you lean on. That woman is stupid. She's also very much uh, out of touch. Yeah. I think with anyone that's not as wealthy as she is. Or... As a human being, she's on that level of... She's not a human being. I don't... uh, She doesn't understand what a normal person's life is. Like, you know, where they send their kids to school. Right, yeah. Sending them to public school. Kids that have to get the, like, free breakfast... Or uh, meal uh, meal assistance. And so stuff let's like talk that. about PUBG. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Blue Hole Studios. Blue Hole and PUBG Corp suing Fortnite. <laughs> they over... sued. Like I, I I gotta I gotta rant about this a little bit. You know, they dropped the lawsuit, and that's yeah, they cool. did. Um, because it was frivolous and stupid, and shouldn't have been started in the first place. But like, here's here's my take on this. You can't get angry because you did a thing got successful and then someone else did the thing better and got more successful than you like that's your fault that you let your shit stagnate yeah it's they didn't do anything really different they put out a game with like good decent graphics but it's got good graphics generic generic yeah like you like it, it looks like any military shooter it's drab and uninteresting. Um, yeah, it really, it really is. I mean, I like it, it's realism, which is fine. I like that. I mean, um, yeah, but like, I, I but feel like you nothing... can you can embrace realism and still have a unique visual style. And that's, sure, and that and that's what they needed. They need it instead of like. You're granted, they definitely needed the coders. But I think while they were hiring coders to help squash the bugs in the game, maybe they should have also hired some artists to create assets for something and it, well they, they and, you can see they're trying now yeah is there are in the games uh, in the maps 
um, there are spray paint, which originally was just very generic. Like the the most meta thing, I guess is the best way to put it, was like you'd see a chicken dinner spray painted on the side of walls. Oh, was like, that's ah, so ah, retarded. There were like fake advertisements and things like that. You know, just I, rushing right. I gotta in. say, I actually like fake advertisements yeah. in games. I love those. They're ones. usually funny. Like when you uh, like one of my so, favorite one of my favorite fake advertisements. Before we get too far off this topic and it becomes irrelevant, um, there was a Need for Speed fake KFC uh, fucking uh, ad on one of the one of the earlier games yeah. and it was like it was something ridiculous where it was instead of Colonel Sanders it was like Lieutenant something or another and it was just <laughs> it was just dumb GTA and um, Saints Row do advertise did fake businesses better than anybody else yeah. Saints Row with Freckle Bitches one of those things fucking ah oh, so good those games are the kind of games where I need to pull up their soundtrack and listen to their radio advertisements oh, yeah. so we can imitate that I loved uh, and just to fucking get even more off topic Saints Row something they did that uh, <clears throat> was one of my favorite moments in each of the games when you're riding with certain characters and you have the radio on if certain songs starts playing certain songs play the characters will sing to the song and it's fucking great uh and just it's the the games they put money into getting good voice actors. Um, I hopefully they paid them well. I don't know if they did or not. THQ I think was the original. The, was it was it THQ or was it THQ Nordic? I don't remember. But it whoever Nordic, was, hopefully they paid them. Who well. Nordic? I could believe. Yeah, you know them paying them. It's uh, right now video game publishers, developers, whoever being pretty shitty with uh, voice actors since the voice actors started the. Uh, union or guild or something. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, which seriously, fucking pay your voice actors. They're awesome. We pay love them. People who do a job. Yeah. Fuck you, Capcom. Why is it so difficult? Yeah. Why is it such a difficult concept to grasp? If you hire someone to do a thing, fucking pay them. Pay them fair. Pay them a fair amount. Yeah. Seriously, it's not. And especially. Oh my god, companies like fucking WB, with the amount of bullshit. That you pull, yeah, and you won't pay these. Fuck you, you goddamn money hungry assholes. Anyway, let's get back yeah, on yeah, topic. Yeah. Uh, We're talking uh, about on PUBG a, on my fucking soapbox about that. Um, but yeah, fuck them for changing Leon Kennedy's voice actor in <laughs> Resident Evil Two, the remake. So PUBG, they have these sprays like, now. Could it be possible they couldn't get the original voice actor? Uh, I doubt it. He's come out and said like oh. he really wanted to do it. And, oh, okay. Like he just wasn't notified at all. It just came out at E three, and he's like, "Oh wow, that's not me." So, all right, so I I didn't know. I had to. Ask. Yeah, apparently it's pretty shitty. There's uh, some people boycotting the game and stuff. I really want to play the game. It kind of pisses me off. We'll see. Pardon me. But um, they uh, so yeah, they they've added and it makes it uh, I guess feel a little bit more. I, not lived in's the wrong word, but it makes it like a little bit more um, less serious. Gives something interesting to look at. Like my thing is this, but like, it's something that they should have done from the beginning because, like right. you said, it's boring for the most part. Granted, I mean, it's they're going for the whole aspect of you're a bunch of fucking people, you're dropped into this wide open area, get guns, kill each other, last man survives. That's a cool concept. Um, but when somebody comes out and adds to it and adds the cartoony fucking, I mean, that's, that's every ad thing that they've done with Fortnite. I, I mean, that's the thing that Fortnite's doing. Okay. Yeah. That, they've that's done the that. Thing. They make it into their own thing. I just, I don't like it personally. Here's the thing. But like, there's a whole lot of people that do. Here's the thing. Like you got PUBG. They nailed their mechanics. The next thing they should have done. Yeah. Well. They did. Come they on. had bugs, but they nailed the. They nailed shooting. the mechanics. They nailed. They the nailed feel the, game. Of the game. Yeah. Now what they needed, what they should have done is they should have started to work towards separating it and making it stand out among the games because you know that when you strike gold, stuff's going to pop up. When you, and it, it, I think that's honest to god part of the reason why early access hurts games. Yeah. Because you release something like that, if you do start changing it drastically, you're going to have a lot of people pissed off and hating it because people don't like change yep. at which point your game ends up ending up the same the whole way through well I mean back to the Fortnite thing you say yeah. you don't like the graphics I, Just, I, I get it's you. a personal I get taste no I get that like yeah. but that's that's the point though is that A it, it looks bright and cartoony mm -hmm. and fun and welcoming and that's the difference from something like PUBG PUBG yeah. it looks gritty and realistic 
and just drab and boring and not welcoming. Yeah. And that's why for that's part I think that's part of the reason why Fortnite is so popular, is because it's just bright and fun and cartoony looking. Look at some of the best games in the world, the best games that have ever been created. They're like Super Mario's and stuff yeah. like that. Because Super Mario is bright and colorful and welcoming and fun. It's easy to get into. And that's the thing with Fortnite. Fortnite's easy to get into. Yeah. You know? That's what I was just going to say as well. The the it's uh, very welcoming difficulty of getting into that game. You can jump in, and even if you're not winning, you're still you know having fun learning it and playing it. And building PUBG, shit. PUBG is very there's the learning curve starts off from the beginning at a fucking cliff face. Yeah, like you have to really quickly um, get your shit together to play that game. Um, and it's, it's, you know, we've talked about this whole thing before. That's why it is not going to keep up on top of, uh, Fortnite being free. And on top of, honestly, Fortnite has the backing of a much bigger, much more powerful company. Um, yeah. I mean, you got the, you got the creators of the Unreal Engine. Yeah. What do you do against that? How many fucking games use the Unreal Engine? Yeah. You know, seriously, how many games out there have used Unreal Technologies? Yeah, and they are willing. They realized, oh, shit, we struck gold with this. Yep. And they very quickly figured out a way to honestly monetize it without being douchey, which I praise them for. I mean, yeah, they, I definitely got to give them, like, like I, I've always hated loot boxes. Yeah. I, 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 I hate, 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 hate loot boxes to the point where I will not play a game with them. Yeah. But if you can, if you can circumvent those loot boxes, they're not a required part of the game. And it's a free to play game. Yeah. I'm, I'm more forgiving. That's well, why I won't play Overwatch. Have, they don't even have loot boxes. Oh yeah, that's true. In uh, Fortnite, yeah, for, they they came up with a system where you know cosmetic stuff you can buy, and then they came up with this um, like I don't think it's called season pass, but that's what I'm going to term it as, where you buy into it, and then during that timeline, you earn XP and you earn rewards based on, you know, how much you're playing, what you do, right, how right. good you do and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. Which is ironic that PUBG was trying to sue them for copyright infringement and then stole that entire idea and started their season. See, I, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's just ridiculous. Which is just man. funny to me. Yeah, but that, like, that, that just bothers me. Like, yeah. instead of trying to innovate, instead of trying to, to work with them, instead of trying to do better, you're just going to sue. You're just going to litigate. And it's like, I think, well, they sued in um, North or South Korea. Yeah, for they copyright infringement. Yeah, they didn't yeah. sue in the United States. They did not sue in the And US. I think it's because they knew they'd fucking lose. Well, that, I think, Blue Hole is based They're in based South in North, North, South Korea. Korea. Yeah. I'm saying North Korea. North Korea is best Korea. Korea. Yeah, no, they're not based in best Korea. They're not. They're not. Like, they're in the worst Korea. <laughs> oh, no, South Korea is great. They just uh, saved Mexico in the World Cup. South Korea is the shit. Um, I can't, I can't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah no. I, like, all my favorite tech companies are there. So. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> they're the new Japan. Um, I mean, they've always been competitive. <laughs> so, I mean. But, uh, yeah, the they, I, I, they had no hope in... in fucking hope or prayer to actually win any litigation but yeah no because i mean they knew exactly i wonder what if it was like a political like a, a pr stunt that they decided to go through with it because everybody said there's no chance they'll go through with it this is stupid and then they're like well we'll fucking show you and did it anyway i don't and i don't know, know what did they garner them what did they did they gain no they from? dropped it they dropped the case i know that's what nothing. i'm saying like like it's a, P, if it's a pr stunt what do they gain from it don't get me i wrong. gotta say i don't care about PUBG now any more than i did yeah. before so um, I mean I'm not I'm not gonna play the game I I it's, it's less that difficulty curve and more that I don't see it doing anything fun or unique. Like yeah, there's definitely a difficulty curve. I mean it's that, not unique now because everybody's making a. I mean it wasn't uh, unique to me back then either though. Like it, I mean, yeah, it was unique in the sense that it was the only battlegrounds game that was really was, popular. Yeah, sure, but really good. I didn't find it interesting enough to play. Yeah, like, it, it's like okay. And so I tried it, and it's less that for me personally, it was less a difficulty curve because I love difficult games. You know, like I'm punishing. Well, the shit it's out of another my... game where you have to rely on you're playing with other people for your fun, right? Which is it's one of the few games I've been able to to play that I enjoy lately. Because uh, for the last couple of years, I've been like done with multiplayer games as a whole. Um, but I found people, people to play. Yeah, <laughs> but I found people to play this game with. 
and that I enjoy playing it with, that's why I keep playing PUBG. I totally get it. We played a couple matches, and it was like it would drop, and five minutes later we're dead. And it's like, yeah, this is kind of what happens. You're like, wow, why would I fucking keep playing this? And I was like, I completely get it if you don't like it, whatever. It, it was For me, it was less that. Like I said, it wasn't the difficulty curve so much. It was just like... I, I'm sitting there and I'm playing it and it's a shooter and it doesn't it it's You've not got, do, I think it's, it's not it's... doing anything exciting for me like like Doom is fast paced and fun Duke yeah. Nukem has its it, it, it's just silliness it's over the topness other first person shooters because we were playing on our first person server at the time um, they had something to offer me that didn't make it feel like it was a generic bland military shooter yeah it's very closer to the counter-strike yeah which i don't game. I, I i don't have anything against counter-strike but i don't kind of i don't either. play it yeah i don't care i don't care for it like it's not something i own the game because yeah. i bought it as part of a valve super pack i don't think you're allowed to be on steam without owning counter -Strike. <laughs> i mean i made it for six years on steam or i did too, four right? years <laughs> on steam without counter -Strike. i bought it on a, a, on, a on one of the summer sales mm -hmm. so it's like and it was only I only got it because it was a part of a mega pack and had other games that I wanted, and it was like thirty five Valve games for like fourteen dollars. Yeah, I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'll get all the Valve games. Why I'll not? Get, fuck it, why not? They don't make games anymore, so I might as well get these while I can. <laughs> God damn fucking it, Valve. God damn it. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, one thing that PUBG has done, in my opinion, right lately, is the new map dropped. Yeah, and I enjoy the fuck out of the new map. It. Um, they've also done some more balancing with the weapons, which they're always tweaking, which is common nowadays for games. Right. Um, and the new map is finally what a lot of people have been calling for. It's a smaller map. So matches instead of you can drop and go 40 minutes without seeing a single enemy. And, and I don't mean like you're hiding. I mean traveling around and not seeing a single fucking person or group of people just hearing shots in the distance. Uh, in this case, it's pretty quick. You will get into combat fairly fairly quickly, especially uh, just about anywhere on the map is high pop. Yeah, that's cool. Um, which is more entertaining. I like the... It's like a uh, Vietnam-esque map. Right. So they've upped the uh, amount of weapons drops are a lot higher in different areas. And I, I like I just, I just like the way the map is designed. There's lots of cover, lots of trees, so you're not going around for 40 minutes looking for a weapon finally to find someone and get your head shot off from 700 meters oh, that's and like, then game over. That's just not fun. Which can happen, yeah, which that can is, happen on some of the other maps. That is the exact opposite of fun. <laughs> yeah, it, can ha it doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen, and it's frustrating. And this new map has a lot more chance for closer combat. What we were finding is... Um, there's not, unless you can't find, uh, something better, there's not much reason to grab, like, the bolt-action sniper rifles for long range, because chances are you're, it's just not going to be viable. There's lots and lots of cover to use and things like that, so the semi-automatic sniper rifles, the DMRs, right. those are, like, king. And the assault rifles and stuff, which, standard, but, I mean, I, I really enjoy it. It turns it more, like, one of my friends, I think, <laughs> part of it was we kept playing the new map. That's pretty much all anybody wants to play right now. So if you're playing the game, starting to starting to spread out a little bit more where you can play the old maps. But for like a couple days there, we would put all map choice um, all maps and then just sit in the lobby and wait to get into a game. Switch back over to mini battle royale, which is where the new map is. Immediately find the game. <laughs> but uh, so we played the map quite a few times in a row. And, he, you know, he started getting tired of it, started, um, and he, to him, it was like they turned it into a Call of Duty clone, which Call of Duty to me has lots of other things that separate it from other shooters. Um, but he's not wrong in the fact that it's a lot closer, a lot more intimate firefights rather than the run around for long periods of time doing fucking jack shit. And, you know, then find, finally get to somebody at the end. However, it also mean we, meant we weren't getting, uh, like, in the top 15, top 20 as often as we normally do. Right. So, like I said, though, I fully and I really do enjoy the new map. I mean, you know, there's got to be something good come out of that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's the funny thing is PUBG still, uh, I mean, it's, it's not that it's a bad game and that that's why it's 
not doing so well. It still does well, and even after it had lost a lot of players, yeah. the new map brought back a whole shit ton of people. So the game is doing better again. It's a good game. It's just they didn't innovate it enough to set it out, to set it apart from what they should have probably foreseen as the coming storm. Which is like exactly what I yeah. was saying in the beginning. You just didn't do enough to make it yeah. stand out. Which is fine. You were the first. Congratulations. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean you're the only one. I mean, because being, you didn't yeah. come up. You didn't come up with this idea. No, you didn't. You I mean, didn't. Different. Not really. You didn't come up with something that's copyrightable. That's like, you know, oh, we're, we can be the only first person shooter or we can be the only ones that use this game mode. No, you can't. You can't, can't do, do that. that. You just can't. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can't trademark a generic idea. Yeah, exactly. Which so is I mean, why it, it's why, you know, Fortnite you, comes up with this. If you could. Action style. If you could, Wolfenstein and Doom would be the only first person yeah, shooters. We'd only have systems. those two. Because, I mean, <laughs> they were among the first. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we'd only have. Quick, we only have id sulfur churning out third per- first person shooters, which by the way might not be that bad of a thing, I honestly. Know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, I like I still I still enjoy the fuck out of the game. Um, I like the more military style. I mean, I don't, is, yeah, I've never minded. it. Uh, oh, no, style. don't get me wrong, I don't, I, I don't hate on anybody liking. Fortnite. Um, I just I, I and I, I haven't really. I should probably play the team based stuff more because solo playing solo it, solo Fortnite is not yeah it is not f- as fun in my opinion as playing team based yeah which is similar to PUBG when I'm playing man, alone yeah, I don't have man, as much fun as I do when I'm twenty playing man with squads buds. or the or the fifty versus fifty which I really hope they bring back yeah. is is a lot better um, than any of the solo shit you can do. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, it's nice to have somebody watching your back. It's nice yeah. to have, have that. And even you're, you're playing with, even when you're playing with randos, it's fun. Mm. It's it's more fun than, than PUBG would be, in my opinion. I mean, because PUBG, I think PUBG got, has gotten to a point where it might be taking things a little too seriously. No, that's something, like I said, they actually... They're doing a little bit more to make it not so serious. I, I know, and that's that, that. That that only furthers my point, though, is the fact that you're sitting there saying, "Well, they're doing things to make it less serious," and that's the not point. no. What I mean is, I don't mean less serious, like turning it into cartooning. Or no, like no, that. I get that. They, they don't need right. to change anything like that. It's just I, I feel like at a point they got to a point, and I'm not saying they're still at that point, but I think they got to a point where they started taking themselves too seriously. Oh, that, yeah. that they were, you know, like like we were saying, they. were they were the first. Congratulations, that's great. You don't get to be the only one. Yeah. And you don't and just being first doesn't mean you're also the best one. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like at some point during their little journey and the lawsuit I think is evidence of that, they just started taking themselves too seriously. Yeah. It's like, dude, you need to chill out with that. Well that's the thing is on top of that, it's you wonder who where that comes from. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I, it's not developers. I don't, uh, from interviews I've seen with, I can't remember the guy's name, the guy who was the guy who originally built the Arma mod. Yeah. Um, who, player unknown. Yeah. He, player unknown who sold, sold the, sold it to Blue Hole Studios. He still works on and, it too, by the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. He's still a uh, lead, uh, development, whatever the fuck idea person. I don't know. Um, he's, uh, like he doesn't sound like it was his decision at all. Uh, so, I mean, they might just have some really dumb lawyers over there. I mean, apparently so. <laughs> that just want to, like, try there? and... Like, I don't know. Maybe it was, like, an intimidation tactic. Who are you intimidating? But that's what I said. Do they not know who that fucking company is? They don't know who Epic is. Epic yeah. could buy Epic them right like... now and be fine. <laughs> They're putting up $100 million for Fortnite Esports Championships. Yep. What, what do you... You don't even do you even have a hundred million dollars? No, yeah, I totally. I mean, don't get me wrong; they made a lot of fucking money off of PUBG. I maybe they did. But it's oh, like yeah. it sold like what like for when it was still being. And I mean, it still sold at forty bucks a pop. It's thirty bucks now, isn't it? Well, whatever it is. Yeah, it, well, it, it, it the was amount thirty of bucks during your early access. That, yeah, the amount of people that paid for that was yeah. just fucking insane. Yeah, but how much have they burned through of that? I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. And I, I mean, think I would like. I mean, like we were talking, you know, hire more programmers to yeah. fix the bugs. Maybe hire some artists to do some decent assets that aren't bought from the Unity Store or whatever they well, bought it. From. I don't. They didn't. Apparently, they didn't. I didn't read all of that, but they had this whole fight over that too. Well, recently. I mean, a lot. A lot of the stuff that they use in the game um, was just 
assets bought from Unreal Store. Well, or they whatever. just came out and said they didn't. But I never never looked into I mean, see how much. I mean, the fact that you can straight up it. look at some of the assets and compare them directly one to one to the assets on the like Unreal I said, Store, I don't, they don't have a flag to stand on to sit there and decline that they did it, considering that like there's a bridge <laughs> that, that that like there it is on the Unreal Store. Don't fucking <laughs> tell me you didn't buy that asset. And there's nothing wrong with like buying assets. Mm. You know, sometimes you just have to. But, like, you know, that's the thing. You can't sit there and rely on store-bought assets like that, even if you're using them in the rather unique ways as you did. That's why – that's why that's one of the big points I want to uh, – that I'm like, like, you need to change that. You need to do your own artwork or, or change them to make it look more unique. Like, you actually put effort into that. Otherwise – and, like I said, this is my one real major complaint. It just looks generic. Yeah, and drab and uninteresting, and that and that's one of the biggest points. That's one. That's why Fortnite is so popular. It looks fun and inviting and 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 interesting. And I mean, it's PUBG also is, free, and it is free, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> like, I mean, let's not put a price on. You made a competent game, and then you made it free. Right. You you have a winning. Uh, combination there, period. As far as p- player base, I, I gotta be honest. With on you, top though. of, I mean, I gotta, say, I, I gotta say, if if you told me both games for thirty bucks, yeah, and they're both basically the same game, just one is bright and cartoony and fun looking, the other one is drab and realistic and gritty. I'm gonna choose the bright and colorful and fun one for thirty bucks, and it's the same thing with the Marvel movies versus I'll be DC. Honest, I don't, I really don't think Fortnite would have sold nearly as well as it has or i mean have as much of a player base if it had a 30 dollar price tag from the beginning right simply because content in fortnite there's a hell of a lot less than there is in 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 pubg i I there's 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 one map there's i mean granted you have different like weapon levels where you get green guns and specialty stuff you could be Thanos. Yeah, you could be Thanos if that game mode was still there. Yeah, you could, you could be <laughs> Thanos for Don't a Don't be wrong. They do different stuff that's yeah. kind of interesting. But, I mean, as far as, like, being a – what you would expect out of a paid game, yeah, uh, it's it, that's on the fence. I think – which, get me, don't get me wrong, that free-to-play model is so smart that they did for that game. They're going – they're making money. They're making a lot of money like from said, that game. Like I said, they're putting up $100 million yeah. of their own cash for – Tournaments for tournaments, yeah, which like, is just smart. Just, just tournaments, that's it. Yeah, esports are uh, apparently where the money is. Me. Sort of like at the same time, you see all these reports of companies like uh, I, if I want to say some of the stuff with Overwatch recently, they've blown money on just setting up these tournaments and had like viewerships that were in like the less than hundred, like uh, under yeah, hundred thousand. I mean, you're talking about someone. You're talking about a game that's averaging. 40,000 views a day to... Or, it's not what it was, sure. But I, it's still... A, I mean, it's Overwatch is still a huge game. It's a huge player base, not necessarily a huge viewer base. True. And that's 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 also what Fortnite I, does. I still that, don't get why people watch Fortnite or... And I don't get any of these games, really, for watching a Twitch stream. It's a less play... It, it could be a less play thing. It could be a connection yeah. thing. You know, it's sociability and stuff. Like, I mean, that's a, that's I, a huge some part of, of it. Some of it's entertaining. Yeah, I, I mean... I, guess. I, I mean, I, that's, that's how I became interested in PUBG in the begin with. Yeah. Um, I watched someone play it. Yeah. And it's really interesting to watch them play it. Mm-hmm. I don't find it as interesting to play the game. Yeah. And that's the way I feel about Fortnite, too. Like, I've played Fortnite more than PUBG, and it's, it's a cool game. Um, I... I, I would very much like to watch someone else play it, though. <laughs> it's like, you know, that. yeah. And that, that's how I feel about Battle Royale games in general. Like, I don't mind watching them being played. They can be fun to watch, you know, watch someone else fail. Yeah. <laughs> but when you start failing, it's like, uh, you know. You get annoyed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, I mean, that's how, I, that's how I discovered PUBG to begin with. Though. It wasn't like, oh, hey, Luke. Luke says I should play this game. Like, no, I I watched other people play it. Mm-hmm. Oh, then um, I like con- constantly said, "Hey, you should play this game. Hey, we should play." Some I don't PUBG. actually remember you saying that. I just bought it one I, day I randomly. Know I said it quite a few times, once or twice, but I don't. Oh, I, I convinced don't... you. I I got you. Got to the point where you're like, I'm waiting for 1.0. 
Yeah. And then I'll pick it up. And then I think I got you to get it a little bit before that. Yeah, it was like version nine, five, six yeah. or something. And then like, it I don't was know. like, eh, I don't really like it. I, I don't. <laughs> Which I, I get. I, I don't like, I like Fortnite better than PUBG. Yeah. Um, but by a slim margin. And I think a big part of that is when you look, especially now, that they even lowered the weapon spawn on uh, the original map. Yeah. Um, Arangel. Uh, playing that map now, I don't I don't really like it. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm running around for 25 minutes with a fucking pistol and a shotgun trying to find a weapon that's going to be useful. Right. Whereas on the and it's on the new map or in something like Fortnite, you five minutes and you've got like an assault rifle and a shotgun. Shit, not even five yeah. minutes in some matches. Yeah. I mean, you're, I've spawned you're well in, equipped. I've spawned in Fortnite and from the get go had a, an assault rifle and an SMG and some yeah, other exactly, shit. Like, exactly. Like just great weapons right off the bat. I more think, than the shitty pistol and your pickaxe, you know? Like, yeah. I think that's a lot more fun when you can get in and actually be a viable threat. Mm -hmm. Um, which again, I'd hate to make the comparison, but that goes back to more traditional first person shooters or shooters in general, like Gears of War, Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, whatever. There's more of a like, okay, I got a good gun or I got a a decent gun. Let's go see what we can do. You even look at like OG Doom. Exactly. People spawn with uh, I mean, you start with a shitty pistol. Sure. But you run five feet and you found a ripper or whatever. But like, yeah, like within... Mm -hmm. Within thirty Drive, seconds, quick. <laughs> within thirty seconds, you can have uh, the shotgun. Yeah. Uh, the next level, you get the chain gun, and mm-hmm. now you're a real threat because the chain gun can fuck everything up. Yeah. I so mean, it's like you know, stun locking fucking barons of hell and shit with the chain gun. Like, yeah. it's great. Well, I'm thinking more of multi in multiplayer games. Multiplayer games, but, yeah. Like, like right yeah, away. it's important to get to feel like you have a chance. Yeah. And, and you know, with with games like like PUBG with their giant maps, yeah, that was the that problem I, with making big maps is it's just you're way spread out. You know, that's another thing I want to talk about is like how big and empty the map just is. It's just a big. That's what's funny is uh, when there's trees. When we were still then. waiting on the second map, Miramar, everybody talked about um, at least the people of my circle. And stuff I was reading was a lot of people really were wanting a smaller map, a smaller experience. What I, my personal thing that I'd love to see PUBG do, and maybe it wouldn't work, maybe it would. I'd love to see a map that's the size of like a major city. Yeah. And you can still have some suburbs, some like a big park where it's, you know, more of a wooded area, but a fucking city, all Dude, urban combat. Just take New Donk City and put it in <laughs> New Donk City for fucking Odyssey, yeah. Oh, God, Nintendo coming out with a fucking Mario Rabbids fucking Battlegrounds. Don't even fucking, uh, don't put it out there. It'll happen. Why Why did you say something? <laughs> because it popped into my head and I kind of want it. <laughs> fucking have them like, oh, my God, and then you get the squids from that fucking... Ah! <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Could you imagine them putting like that kind of a game, Inklings, game, whatever the game fuck they're mode called? in like Smash Bros. Ultimate? I know. Uh, God. A battle royale. Just randomly, Smash Brothers launches with battle, like like with Smash Royale mode. Which I mean, technically, it's possible in Smash. Uh, eight I mean, player, a big map where you just have people constantly joining the same match and just keep going. I don't I know. I mean, it, it could work. I think that could actually be something. I think a neat. tournament, something that, that should stick towards tournament modes. But if 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 Smash Brothers was a like over the shoulder third person action game, then you could totally do that. I think I think you could easily put that mode in there though. I don't think it'd be easy. I, I think it would be easy. You just take the existing models and put the camera there and throw a fucking map in 3D shit. I mean, just take like... Metroid I mean, Prime. It, hey, you know what? It's like GTA. They made it first person pretty easily. Maybe that's what they... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I I just don't want... Okay, maybe not... Easy is not the right word. Um, <laughs> but it's the only word that I could think of to say, yeah, it would be... It's something they could do that could be within the realm of possibility. Yeah. Don't do not do it. Sakurai, Please. Please. But or, um, or do I? I, no, I, I am. I don't. I'm somewhat interested in that. Like, like, you know. <laughs> don't get me wrong. The idea of a shooter-based game that is of the um, 
the Smash Brothers model. So you're just taking a bunch of properties and throwing them in like a third person or a first person shooter. <laughs> that sounds awesome. That's actually, it sounds like modded Unreal Tournament <laughs> to me. <laughs> sounds like Fortnite, but better. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's interesting. That's crazy. Seriously, to just about. take just take let's take Super Mario, Mario Gun Battle. <laughs> just take Super Mario, Mario Odyssey Gun Battle. Just take Super Mario Odyssey and just combine it with Splatoon. It would be like the next Mario sports game, Mario Paintball. <laughs> I'd fucking buy that Mario laser tag Mario paintball something like that I would fucking buy that oh god Nintendo we need a first person shooter Mario game oh my god I would so buy that. it could be third person too I'd be third person. Okay Link could have a crossbow yeah or just use his bow bow or use his bow oh. yeah you could, Donkey, you could bring back the coconut launcher from Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, his little shotgun Donkey and Kong Diddy Country Kong's 64. Pe- yeah, peanut, shooters. peanut shooters. Yeah, like, dude. I mean, you did a, a, a strategy shooting game with the rabbits. Sam, Samus is already equipped. Exactly. But, I mean, they did a strat- they did a, they did a game that I never thought I would see. A, um, oh, fuck, what's that alien shooter uh, that's a really hard strategy game? Oh, uh, I don't fucking know. Yeah, they they did they cloned that and made the Mario Rabbids game, and they did it well. Yeah, that's the crazy part. So I mean, that's this isn't out of the realm of possibility, <laughs> dude. I really want this oh, now. Fuck, that's this, funny. This this turned into the battle royale game or the battle royale episode. Pretty much, yeah. So I, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Something about the map sizes. I Being mean, well, well, we got to this topic uh, because you know we were talking about the ga- Google Game Console, and then we oh yeah we just that, we, we went off on a tangent, and I'm like, I draws back theory, and let's talk about this because this what, happened. Okay, going back to that though, I gotta assume that I mean maybe it's Google doesn't seem like they want to make their in-house devices. They have other people make a device with their name on it, like their phones and stuff. Well, no, I mean their their phones they are. They are getting more and more in house. Yeah, they're I pulling mean, it more. So maybe that's what they because uh, they absorbed the team at HTC that made the Pixels. Okay, which was like two thousand something employees. Yeah, so they absorbed that part, and uh, I th- I think because that that's kind of what they're moving towards. Like any of their really overpriced hardware, yeah, they produce themselves. Okay, like the Pixel line of Chromebooks, mm-hmm. they produce those. The Google Homes, the Google Wi Fi's, yeah, they all they produce those. So I guess so. This totally isn't uh, like unheard of. Um, I mean, like I, I said, they've dipped their toes in the game console before. Um, like I guess with the with the uh, I would have said Nexus Player, I think it yeah. was, which was a partnership with ASUS, mm-hmm. and uh, it was it was basically my Shield TV, but on a smaller scale because it was yeah. much weaker, uh, and it's it ran Android TV. Yeah. And it had gaming capabilities, because of course it does. And, um, I mean, like I said, it had the Asus gamepad, which is a very good gamepad. It, it, it is really good. I wish I could use it on my Switch. That's how good it is. It's, mm-hmm. it, it would be comparable to the Pro the pro, pro controller. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we're quite there yet where people would embrace a streaming console. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know that we are either. Um, that's that's my one thing, and I'm sure they probably are trying to figure out how they can make that really work. Because don't get me wrong, I, the shields cool, and but I don't think the shields have been a major, at least in the United States, have made, gotten in the market as well as they'd like. Um, I mean, of the Android TV boxes, they're they're the best by f- fucking miles. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's still their numbers aren't like they're not. I they're mean, not selling gangbusters I, or anything I, like that. Probably not. But I guess they sell well enough that they're continuing to support the ever loving fuck out of it because yeah. the thing's three or four years old now, and they're still issuing new Android updates for it. Yeah. Like we just recently, they just recently dropped a Shield Experience seven point Well, hell, up, even my Shield tablet. Well, is yeah. still getting support. I mean, this is this is even older than a tablet you have. Oh, that is. Well, oh. mine's not. Mine's a refresh model, but it's using the same yeah. chipset, the same exact chipset as the one they released in 2014. Okay. Your tablet was released in 15. Oh, I thought 16. my tablet was older than the earth. No, no, no. The um, the tablet is newer. <laughs> the tablet's the newer re-release they released after the first one caught fire. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, yeah, no, like they they've uh. 
They're still updating this, all the Shield models. They just released Shield Experience 7.0, which brings it up to Android 8.0 Oreo. Yeah. So we got the we got the newest operating system, yay! And uh, for real this time, because they did issue it a few weeks ago, and they had a bunch of really nasty Wi-Fi bugs that they mm-hmm. had to fix. Um. So I I don't know that they they're obviously not selling like PS4 or Xbox One or Switch levels. Yeah. Um, but I don't think Nvidia planned on that. No, no, so, I don't think so either. I, it's, it, it, I just, I wonder if Google, again, that's this is the article that's pointing, uh, saying, oh, they want to challenge PS4 and Xbox. Google might not have any interest in doing that. I don't, I no, that doesn't sound like a Google um, thing to do. Google doesn't give a shit about I PS4 and Xbox One and yeah. Switch. They don't care about that. The thing is, at the same time, <laughs> they're not unless you're maker. really going to go for a very small market, which maybe that is, they're going to go for that small, like us, like our, we might be that demographic. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're, I don't think in large people are going to say, hey, let's get that as well as having our PS4. Yeah. Because it's just unless they're doing something like, uh, when Valve had started the Valve boxes or whatever they ended Steam up calling boxes. Steam boxes, um, they didn't really go anywhere. Maybe they're trying to do something similar, except you know, actually advertise it more, get it out there. I, I, I honestly, so that you could have a PC experience on if, your TV. If this, no, 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 no. If or they're is, just gonna go for the mobile market and say, "Hey, play fucking your mobile games on television." That no, because that's what Uyo went for. I know, um, and it was bad. Um, what I, if there's anything to this? If there is anything to this, um, it's not anything to do with with any of that. It's uh, bring the Google experience to your TV because I mean Android TV is, is a moderately uh, a moderately popular platform. Yeah, like not to the point that I think they'd want it to be. I, I think what it would be is they just want to push it more. So what they're going to do is. What this will probably be would be like the Pixel line or the or the Nexus line where it's yeah. like, hey, this is what Android TV is capable of. Do this. Yeah. It's not going to be like this. Art of, I don't remember what. Uh, I mean, I can definitely tell from. you with the Shield console out there, um, it is capable of some very impressive things. Yeah. Um, it's four years old now. It's using a four-year-old chipset. But the fact that this four-year-old chipset is keeping up with, you know, the Snapdragons of today and all that, like, that's impressive. Yeah. And it's only got three gigs of RAM. It's got a you know, 1.9 gigahertz quad-core processor. But the, the, the big thing that separates it, and this is why Nintendo used it as their, their console, it has 256-core GPU. Mm-hmm. Big, huge issue. You know, it, it's very fast. It's very powerful. I mean, why would you not use it? It's there. It's available. Oh, yeah. The technology behind it's understood. It's easily scalable. So, I mean, it's still powerful. It's still relevant because it's still based on the Maxwell GPUs, which are still very good. I mean, they're obviously not Voltas. They're obviously not whatever the uh, Pascals, which are what the current mm-hmm. levels are based on, but they're still potent. They're still capable. And so, I mean, yeah, keep using it. Yeah. Keep supporting it. And that's that. for me, I've gotten such a value out of that little box. It's half the price of a PS4. It's half, whoa, Oops, hello. It's half the price of these other 4K consoles. And it was doing 4K before 4K was 4K, before yeah. it was popular. I'm not complaining. Yeah. It works. So, I mean, yeah. So, I, yeah, we'll see. I just don't – I think it will be more like that, a multimedia box. Yeah, no, it's I mean, not that's, gonna that's go definitely for... – that's all Android TV ever really truly was. Yeah, it's I not going to go for the throat for Sony and Microsoft. No, of course Mo- not. I mean, unless Google fucking throws us a curveball and is like, hey, we're coming out and here's our fucking console. Here's the Google We'll take box. discs and everything. You know, we bought Square Enix or somebody. <laughs> and we bought EA. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> they, they did? <laughs> that's fucking nuts. I could like, see, you know, I could see them doing something. Insane it's like, like come that. out with, cra- you know, Google's one of those fucking companies that they could just blow everybody's fucking mind. Atari is still apparently working on a console. <laughs> I'm kind of interested in Atari's console <laughs> because it seems it seems interesting, but it's irrelevant to me at the same time because yeah. I, I already have something that does exactly what they're advertising. Exactly, it's another. And it does it's it like better. Oh yeah, 
It's like that's yeah. their that's essentially their model. I don't know. I I don't Atari as a company. I don't put much stock in anymore. Atari is one of those companies that I go look at and I go, how are you still around? Exactly. Exactly. It's like finding a Kmart. It's like, wait, you, you're still in business? How? It'll be like five years from now finding a Toys R Us. Yeah. A Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see um, D. Pity posted a picture? Because I think Toys R Us had put out a picture of Jeffrey the giraffe like with like a backpack. Like he was leaving it, it next to empty shelves. Like he was leaving all sad. Uh. <laughs> and somebody, D. Pity, posted a picture somebody made where they did the, uh, the, the, da, da, the Thanos effect. From uh, Infinity War, where he was breaking apart into dust. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, no, but I don't care because I didn't really shop at Toys R Us. Yeah, that often uh, like I gotta say, like, like part of me is like, oh, Toys R Us is dying, but the other, like, the bigger part of me is like, why the fuck do I care? Exactly. I'm not gonna be one of these fake people who are upset that Toys R Us is dying. I haven't shopped at a Toys fucking R Us fucking millennials in twelve <laughs> fucking years. Like, yeah. like uh, they've never. Their prices have never been good. Their selection has never been good, in my honest opinion. Like, I don't know, dude. I don't. I don't care. They got bought by somebody who decided to fucking rape their company, their company's assets to pay off debt, no, and no, the company no, no. went out of business. The company was already in debt. That's what I'm saying. Um, but they, what happened was they got bought by an investment group, which saddled them with more debt. Yeah, um, to pay something else off. Uh, and, and it was never they they were never able to dig themselves out of it because yeah. nobody made the right investments. No one made exactly. the right moves. And then what? Oh, small millennials fault? No, it's not. No, it's not. Was... My, it's not my fault. You're dying. It's not my fault. Applebee's is dying. It's not my fault. TGI Fridays is dying. Okay, if you're going to lower the quality of your food and keep. And keep the prices, prices and keep the prices the same. Okay, if you're going to serve me McDonald's and charge me Longhorn prices, fuck you. I'm going to Longhorn? Yeah, exactly. Like, dude, are you kidding me? Get out of here, fucking assholes. Mm, by the way, the local steak, the local Applebee's is closed. Uh, yeah, they they closed. They put a fucking padlock on the door. <laughs> And everything I I had gone up there with somebody like ah eh, let's just fucking go to Applebee's I've been yeah. there forever, and then was like oh I I remember the last time we went there I had a burger and some fries and it was it was just okay yeah it was just okay and then you get the bill and it's like fifteen ninety eight it's like wow wish I would have gone to Five Guys paid half the price and gotten a burger a thousand times better right yeah well you would have paid the same price but then you would have got like six pounds of fries. Yeah, and it would have been like a double cheeseburger with everything on it you could possibly want. Plus bacon. Yeah, plus bacon. And it's like... And a drink. And a drink. And the burger's the size of your face. Yeah. So, I mean... And, like you said, every fucking topping ever. Yeah. Just plus, about. plus, like I said, six pounds of fries. Yeah, exactly. You order a small fry, they just fucking pile on six pounds of fries into your bag. I don't know how they stuff it in there. I think they got Doctor Who technology. I don't know, but it's amazing. Oh, they just fucking pour. I, I don't know. They had so many fries. So uh, good. I was actually talking with my mom about you that. You can have your Shake Shack and your uh, the fucking other burger place everybody loves. Uh, on the out, east and, and west coast, in and, and out, out, yeah, and, and out in Midwest, all oh, we got five guys, and we're happy with it. Oh fuck yeah, five guys! I was just talking with my mom about that a couple of days ago because mm-hmm. uh, she came up to visit. And she's like, she was asking me about different restaurants in the area because yeah. we go to fucking everywhere. Yeah, and um, she asked me about five guys. I'm like, yeah, no, five guys is great. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, when you go there though. Order the small fry. Yeah, because you're going to get more fries than any large fry. <laughs> do not order the large fry. She, said, she mentioned going there with my dad. I'm like, that's great. You guys get your burger. Order a small fry between the two of you, and you'll still have fries left over. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's like it's amazing. Like when we went to, we went to a, a Five Guys in Pittsburgh, and there were four of us there. And we split two, two small fries, and we still had fries left over. Yeah. It's, it's like, what, what, why? Why? I mean, because they're awesome. That's why. Yeah, no, I, I definitely can't complain. All right, I think we're going to wind it down there because now we're just rambling. Yeah, oh yeah, I don't even know if we finished talking about any single topic, but hey, we had a good time talking. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully we were entertained. One of the early topics we finished. <laughs> Did we? Yeah, no, I mean, we finished I, at least one. I count this as a success then. I count everyone as a successful failure. <laughs> 
It's uh, just a test. There you just go. Just a test. All of it, none of it counts. Please, uh, please disregard. Please ignore. Only a test. Test, please, please ignore. An emergency right, guys. broadcasting system. <laughs> If this were a real emergency, we would direct you. would you. have more information at the end. Oh, God, why? We're all dying. Oh. Here's <laughs> what you pain. guys do. Just roll up and, and smoke, get high as shit, and then <laughs> just die. The end of the world is coming. Get just get high. Get stoned. All right, guys. For the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Click us on Instagram and all that other crap. Actually, don't. Go to Facebook and uh, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, we don't. We don't, <laughs> we don't use do Instagram. And YouTube. And YouTube. And iTunes. And our website. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. See you.